Hello Avid followers, welcome back to the channel. In today's news, Meghan and Mrs. Obama are now both part of the same high-profile public speaking agency and are keen on furthering the issue of female empowerment. Both women are now famous in their own right, but early into her role as Duchess of Sussex, Meghan reportedly turned to Mrs. Obama for help. They met secretly for the first time in London when Mrs. Obama was on tour for her book Becoming, and since then they have become close confidants. Mrs. Obama revealed what she thought about the Duchess on Instagram last year by posting an image of Meghan when she attended a reception for young people at the residence of the British High Commissioner in Cape Town. She captioned it, Thank you to my friend, Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Sussex, a thoughtful leader who is breaking the mould and making the world a better for it. She is an inspiration for so many. Whether meeting with our leaders or helping girls around the world seek the education they deserve, she is an inspiration to so many. Mrs. Obama also told Meghan, There is no prescribed path when advising her what to do with a guest edited Vogue magazine last year. Advice which may have inspired Meghan to follow her own instincts and leave the royal family. The Evening Standard pointed out in January, They have both questioned the scrutiny that their husband's jobs bring and are trying to use their platform to carve out progressive roles in the world. For instance, Mrs. Obama told Good Housekeeping, I didn't think it was a great idea for Barack to run for office. He would be required to be away from home and he was too earnest, too full of valiant plans to be a politician. There were better ways for a good person to have an impact. The Evening Standard edit added that the alliance between the two women could have the making of Meghan. However, Meghan did not always follow the advice the former First Lady gave her. In an interview with Good Housekeeping from 2018, Mrs. Obama said, like me, Meghan probably never dreamt she'd have a life like this, and the pressure you feel can sometimes feel like a lot. She added, So my biggest advice would be to take some time and don't be in a hurry to do anything, she continued. I spent the first few months in the White House mainly worrying about my daughters, making sure they were off to a good start at school, and making new friends before I launched into any more ambitious work. I think it's okay, it's good even to do that. However, Meghan was incredibly keen to dive into royal work. She claimed in early 2018 that she wanted to hit the ground running. Courtiers later praised her strong work ethic during her 2019 tour of Morocco, with Prince Harry in particular. She said she had continued to carry out all of her engagements despite being seven and a half months pregnant. That is all for today's news. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next video.